So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you so much. So hi everyone, today we will be testing out code gamma model. So if you know uh, Google recently launched the gamma models in two versions 2 billion and 7 billion. Now today they have launched the code specific version of that model that is code gamma 2 billion 7 billion which specializes in generating codes so without wasting time today i will be showing you how you can use code gamma 2 billion model i'm not able to use code gamma 7 billion model in my system because of hardware restrictions but eventually you can use it if you have enough hardware so without wasting further time let's first of all pip install the transformer library so i would suggest you don't go with the default pip install transformers Rather use the hugging face version of transformers using git. So this command you need to run to install transformers. Next you need to generate your hugging face read token. So in my previous videos I have explained this also how you can generate your read token. So you can check that out. Once you are able to generate your hugging face token you need to fill it here as an environment variable hf underscore token. Now let's get started. So the pipeline is quite easy to understand. We are first of all loading the tokenizer and the model. The model ID is Google forward slash code gamma hyphen to be and I'm loading a tokenizer as well as a model. Now this is the most interesting part as I'm not using the instruction fine tuned version. I need to use the same prompt template that has been used to fine tune it. So this is the prompt template being used. So here you need to understand what uh, it would be doing. It is more of code completion uh, model for now if it is not instruction fine tuned. So here is a particular flags that you can see fem prefix fem suffix fem middle so fem prefix basically indicates that whatever code that is already available and after which you need to generate so fem suffix indicate that this is the space that the model needs to fill so this is the code that is already given by the user at this particular flag fem suffix now the model needs to generate the code and once it encounters the fem middle flag it start generating so basically fem prefix indicates the prefix code fem middle indicates the suffix code before generating the code and uh, fem suffix is basically used for generating the code indicating that it is this point where you need to fill in your code so i think the flags that are used might be a little confusing but uh, quite easy to understand once you understand this particular so here there is the example that i have taken from the hugging face repo, uh, hugging face web page only where they have mentioned this so here it is a function which is trying to calculate the age of a person given the birth year and current year. Now there is a single line that should be filled out. So I will be showing you what are the results that are coming in. Now using the tokenizer, uh, we are generating the input for the model and dot model generate the tokens get generated and then using the tokenizer dot decode, we are decoding the output into human readable form. So this is all I have already explained in my book also as well as in my previous videos you can check this out. So here you can see that the whole execution has been done all the models are downloaded and this is the output given by the model which is quite interesting as you can see that there are a few flags that are coming file separator and uh, end of sentence. So basically file separator is for multiple contexts. Now this is the code that would be uh, that is generated by uh, the model which is correct because once you get the correct year, age equals to current year minus birth year. Now for data science perspective, I tried the model for other purposes also. So this is a function that I generated. Import pandas as PD and I wish the model to uh, help me generate a code for cumulative sum of a function ABC and name it as cumulative sum. So here you can see that this is the prefix that I'm giving it to you, uh, giving it. This is a return DF after which I'm encountering the FIM middle and I want it to fill this particular logic for the function and how to calculate the cumulative sum and then eventually assign it to a new column cumulative sum. So here you can see that the result is quite correct. It is able to get a use a function com sum which is uh, present in pandas for calculating the cumulative sum. Now taking a step further, uh, I tried giving it multiple instructions in the same prompt. Add a new column, fill nan values with median for all columns in df now if you look into the result the result is a little shady because it is not able to 
generate a code to fill values to fill the nan values for all the columns instead it just use the it is just filling the nan values for the cumulative sum function so it's a minor mistake but yeah, it, you can see that instead it is not able to capture the entire context from the prompt now making it more complicated i asked it to pre process the df with all required steps for training a knn ml model so i'm not giving it any instructions to follow i'm just giving it a rough pro a general prompt that uh, please follow whatever the pre processing steps you know to uh, to make it available for a training an ml model here you can see that the performance downgraded a lot where it is not able to do anything major i don't know how it is picking up this date column and then doing all the iterations on that only but yeah i think for the first two steps the results are decent and considering that it is a 2 billion model the results are pretty good and i assume that if i'm able to test out the 7 billion model and that to the instruction fine tune the results would be great because here i can see that syntactically the codes are not incorrect i think logically it is failing out at some points but syntactically the codes are correct and this can be used it is worth giving a try